Let's go through an example using the Frost 3D software. For our example, we'll simulate a three-dimensional temperature field under an oil tank. First, we open the layout of soil cooling devices, set the appropriate display parameters, and perform their build using the appropriate tool. Then, we add the geological boreholes, set the power of the geological layers, and create the geological profiles. It is possible to edit the surfaces of the geological layers manually. More complex geological elements should be built manually by specifying their corresponding contours, extrusion parameters, and heights. Let's set the parameters of the computational domain and construct the created objects in three dimensions. Object construction results are shown in a separate tab. Using additional tools, it is possible to load building objects and background scene elements with other geometrical formats. On this step, we also verify whether the soil freezing devices, building objects, and geoengineering elements were correctly constructed. The next step is the discretization of the computational domain. Taking into account the adaptive step, the thickness of the individual materials, and the dimensions of the computational domain in this problem, we obtain a hexahedral mesh with more than 3 million nodes. Let's go through the assignment of initial and boundary conditions. For the external environment, let's define a dependence of temperature change on time. Next, we define the initial conditions for each of the created materials and also specify the heat capacity and thermal conductivity, the amount of unfrozen water, the phase transition temperature, and other necessary parameters. Then, we check the mesh of soil freezing devices, select the computation of heat load for freezing devices using Newton's law, and then specify the dependence of temperature change on time and heat exchange coefficient. We then specify the boundary conditions, setting values as dependences or constants. As the final step in the creation of the computer model, we specify the duration of the simulation period and the interval for saving the computational results. Start the computation. The computation takes three hours to complete. The simulation period is equal to one year of a real process. This computation was done with a single core CPU and a common PC. Once the computation is finished, the simulation results are displayed in the post-processor tab. Here, it is possible to turn on or off the display of any particular layer in the set of all layers or view any arbitrary section of the computational domain. You can also navigate by any time step, turn animation on or off, etc. The simulation results show that no soil thawing occurred in the areas where cooling devices were located. You can view the frozen depth profile of the site under the oil tank in the sectional view over the whole simulated period, shown here.